Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you've been having a great day so far and I hope this video makes it a little bit better for you. Today we're going to be checking out Samira. She was recently nerfed in the most recent patch, so we're going to see how she's feeling after those nerfs. Now she was a champion when she came out, she was definitely an S tier champion, but she's been nerfed like three or four times at this point. Before this nerf, she was more feeling like a high A tier, but honestly after these nerfs, she might be more of a B tier champion. So what they changed is that her flares now cost two, so double the cost, which is very unfortunate. And now when she levels up, she's no longer creating free flares in hand. Now she's creating flares and then she's reducing down their cost. So she can potentially get some zero costs, but that's after you strike. Whereas before every strike would just give you a free zero cost flare. This is going to really help your level up condition since you want to be leveling up by playing a whole bunch of cards very quickly. The fact you're going to have to pay a lot more for those cards will make her much more difficult to level up. Now these nerfs are all happening because she's too oppressive in PvP, apparently. I wouldn't know. So a little sad that we're seeing those nerfs, but we're testing her out in this video to see how she actually does. Now for her star powers, if you don't know, the first time you damage the enemy nexus each round, the next card you play costs three less, so some very solid cost reduction. And then style on them, plus one starting mana. When you play your third card each round, grant allies 1-1. One, one. So some nice board-wide scaling. Four relics, we're going with the Dreadweight Chase Gun, Crown Guard Inheritance, and Troll King's Crown. This is all built to try to level her up as fast as possible and end the game as fast as possible. These chase guns are probably going to be more important than ever. They're making these zero cost warning shots. And since she's going to have less of those cheap spells, generating some from the chase guns will really help us out. All right, let's hop in game. I think we'll do Galio again. I was really enjoying playing through that again. We haven't really showcased Galio at all recently other than our Pike video. So let's hop in and see how she does. All right, let's see what we get for our first power. Uh, these are all fine, but I'd want to get something a little bit stronger. Enfeebling Strike, really good. Memory Game could potentially help us. I think we will... Well, I think let's go for the Sting Officer to try to put some pressure on early. It is not that strong of a card, but since it's going to be on the board from the start of the game, we can try to scale it up with our Star Powers. This can also help us get our Nexus damage off. So yeah, we'll go, go ahead and get this. Alright, the Dauntless Vanguard. So if one of our units dies, they get a free Dauntless Vanguard. So we need to try to not have any of our units die, if possible. I'm actually here. All right, we could play the Elegant Edge for the barrier, but we'll probably just take the hit. Take the shot or lose the chance. We don't want to play too many cards because our level up condition is about to reset when we get the attack token. This will hurt though. Let's play one warning shot. Play a ruined reckoner. A single empire ruled by the true king. All right, so he has that. Uh, I guess this is she has that quick attack. Yeah, we'll let them attack. Will be better than just about anyone else. Every fighter falls. All right, I think let's buff this up to make it do a little bit more damage. Now's your chance. All right, so this would give us a little bit more damage. Yeah, I think we'll play this here. My mama love you. All right, let's see how close we can get. All right, very close. Don't hold anything back. I won't. And now we rally and GG. All right, still able to win in our first attack. I think we'll go for this Iron Ballista. That's a pretty beefy unit for just a three cost. I think we'll go here since, well, actually that card's going to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, I think this is still probably the best. We'll try to go for the shop, get some more powers. We'll be better than getting some more rerolls. 
So Crown Guard really wanting me to end as fast as possible. All right, let's get rid of... We'll hold on to this just in case we can't draw our champion. So uh, Tiana Crown Guard, this is like the ant, I think, of Garen and Lux. But the power is every time they attack, they reduce the, down the cost of their Crown Guard, which is a strong unit with Rally. So they can just keep playing this once they get that cost reduction. All right, we have Samira. Don't ask for permission or forgiveness. Every work demands a piece of ourselves. That barrier is going to be pretty bad for us. Wait, is that here? How do I look? It is a picture. Knock him dead, Tiger. On foot. All right, they'll be able to definitely hurt our Samira, but good amount of damage down. All right, let's get to work. So we could stun their unit. However, I think having their refill one spell mana and draw one will help make sure we get our level up so we can rally and try to end this round. Eyes open. All right, we have our Reckoner. That's nice. One of your best cards by far. Uh, they don't have any mana, so they shouldn't have any combat tricks. So yeah, we can block this so we don't take too much Nexus damage. All right, let's go ahead and give this a free attack. Alright, got a rally off, so GG. Uh, Golden Narwhal actually wouldn't be bad. Riptide Rex, if we weren't playing such an aggressive champion, this would actually be a pretty solid card to pick up, but we're probably never going to have the mana to play this. So far, we've actually been able to end the games pretty quickly. Yeah, this will be nice. A bit of sustain, especially since now we want to be sure we're not losing our units on block. We want them to be attacking. So this will give us a nice way to heal up. Don't think I'll bother with anything else. All right, healer. Yeah, I don't really care about the captain. Yeah, I'm never really going to play that. All right, so Zoe. Let's see. City Breaker, a little too expensive. Don't need pick a card since we already have Samira. Oh, nice. Our Death's Hand. You normally want her to be the first thing you play so that all other cards will count towards her level up. I think let's play a warning shot. All right, they have a charger. Let's play this just to kill their Zoe. Always good to kill Zoe whenever you have the opportunity. Also, with our cost reduction, we're trying. Uh, yeah, the... They'll be able to kill our Mighty Poro. Oh, well. But yeah, with your cost reduction, you want to get the most value from it. So normally you want to be cost reducing something that costs three or more. Yeah, let's go ahead and play this to kill her before she scales up. Ah, sad. Hopefully they don't get the items on my card. Otherwise, they can, <laughs> they can kill our Samira. That'll be that'll be bad. Me. 
All right, they don't demand to play it anymore, anyways. Time for my arena debut, right, Samira? Good thing All right, we have four. So just play two cards, which we can easily do. Yep, we won't bother blocking this. So this is your one, but if we activate an ally's plunder effect, this should give us more damage. And rally. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Blink and you miss me. Alright, potentially GG. Yep, GG. So we're still doing pretty solid. Uh, I think we'll get the extra draw, just to make sure we can potentially have more cards and have more options to always be sure we're leveling her up. This will give us some extra damage, that won't be bad. Some more stats, not bad. All of these are pretty good. Granted, we're normally not attacking that many times, so this is only really going to give us like one maybe two hmm i think we'll try for something a little bit better so we potentially will have too many units i think i'd rather go for the elemental winds especially since all of our spells and skills like this is actually going to help us do a lot of extra damage to the nexus so i think we will grab this all right champion item chest definitely what we want to get so mage seeker insider oh ruined reckoner perfect we'll get rid of both of these yeah, I think we'll hold on to both of them just just as like a backup. All right, perfect. Draw our Samira. No need to make a name for myself. Just an impression. Sadly, they are a little bit too expensive for us to be able to play round one. I think let's play our golden wall narwhal also the cost reduction doesn't roll over to the next round that used to be the case sadly not anymore uh we can't attack with samira because they'll be able to kill her so a little sad but we'll try to rally and end the game next round these doing three damage is pretty awesome. Control the mages. Keep the peace. I serve a noble cause. Uh, yeah, we can go here. Hopefully, they don't have any combat tricks. All right, perfect. Hmm. Let's go ahead and play this. So, stunning him. I feel like this will deal more damage because it'll deal damage to the Nexus, whereas the four damage is going to be wasted. And stunning him is just going to keep him from blocking, which only is going to save three damage. So, I think this will do more for us. Something for all of you. All right, this will give us the rally. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Blink and you'll miss me. All right, so we'll be able to attack and end the game. And we still have a free attack if we somehow didn't end right here. So, GG. I think we'll grab the flight here, but honestly don't really like any of these. Alright, Shadow Totem, that will give us some more copies of our warning shots, so that'll be pretty solid. I mean, we already have this from our one power. Sure, this will deal three damage because of our other skill, so that'll be solid. Uh, another shop or an epic item. I think I'd rather get the epic item. So, Swift Wing Flight. 
Now we will have to be careful, man, that's actually a pretty solid opening hand. We will have to be careful because they're going to have a lot of challenger units. Also, we don't start with the attack token. Yeah, they're going to kill our Sting Officer. We're just going to pass. We don't want to play our Samira and have her immediately die. So. I excel at making heads turn and roll. Ah, oh, we didn't get any more of our warning shots since our hand's full. That said, I will right, we'll use one of these here. Just to get a little bit of cost reduction, but we'll save everything else for next turn. Ruined Reckoner, perfect. A single empire ruled by a true king. All right. Let's get some damage down. I know all their moves. Well, that is annoying. Let's maybe knock him down a little bit more size. This is going to give us massive amounts of damage against the Nexus, because we damage them by three, but now by reducing down all their health pools, that means our Overwhelm attacks are going to hit for even harder. Hmm, one issue. We have to play two cards, but we only have one mana. So we're going to attack, strike, get our Flare down to zero. So we can then play that and something else, and should be able to rally and end the game. Now they're probably going to block and kill Dashing Dandy. Uh, yeah, we're not going to attack with Twisted Fate, we don't want him to die here. Everything else should be fine. I guess this will actually just end the game without even the rally. <laughs> GG. Alright, gain some more copies of the Death's Hand, very good, but honestly, all of these are pretty solid since we have that uh, one power that increases the damage by two on everything, but I like Death's Hand a lot. So I think we will end up getting the Pool Shark here. A two cost 6-7 that removes the strongest enemy target is pretty crazy, so yeah, I guess we'll grab this. Alright, let's go ahead. I think we'll cut the City Breaker, since we're normally not going to rely on this damage at the start of the round. We're just trying to end games too fast to rely on these. Alright, Viego. Pretty solid opening hand. Let's get rid of the Flight, though. We'd like to get our Ruined Reckoner, if possible. Alright, we have the Attack Token. That's solid. Oh, I probably should have played something first so we can get more of our warning shots. Not great. Right. Iron Ballista, though, that'll be pretty good. Hmm. So they would be able to block and kill Samira. So we'll have to hold her back. Yeah, a little unfortunate. Alright, we'll save this for next turn. Not amazing. So we could... Now, even if we buff them both up, they would still, uh, still both die. Well, that is unfortunate. I guess let's play this first. We'll deal one damage to the Nexus. 
play the Golden Narwhal. We fill one of our spell mana, get a little bit of extra draw. Right, this, we can use our one mana on a deal better damage. Get our rally on. Beautiful and brutal, just how I like it. Isn't it thrilling? All right, will we have enough damage? Let's go ahead and play this because we're going to make another one. So close, but not quite. However, we should be able to end right here. Alright, GG. Ah, spell shield. That'll be wonderful. Sure, it's kind of overkill at this point, but yeah, let's go for it. Alright, Rekindler. Spiderling. Don't really care about the Rekindler, I think it just gives you a revive, which we hopefully aren't going to need two of those. And we did the Messenger last time, let's go for the Spiderling. Alright, let's get rid of both of these. And I think even the other Samira, we have Spell Shield now, so we should be fine. Alright, we do not have the attack token. We are going to take a lot of damage this round. But we have decent sustain. That egg. Did it move? Take the shot or lose so we didn't play Samira first because we wanted to save up a little bit more room so we could hopefully get another warning shot. So, yep, we got one more warning shot. Nice. Alright, so Samira unfortunately can't block because uh, they're fearsome. We'll save everything else for next turn, though. Ooh, Ruined Reckoner. Although we just used our cost reduction. Ah, uh, that's not nice. I think let's actually give her challenger so we can free our unit. Wait, sets here? How do I look? Pretty as a picture. Knock him dead, tiger. Uh, he's going to die, but that's fine. So we can rally after this attack. Ah, oh, he didn't get his effect. Ah, oh, well. Beautiful and brutal, just how I like it. Isn't it thrilling? All right, we got our rally again, but yeah, not really able to do that much damage since we didn't have that good of a board. I think we'll save these for next round. Hmm, we could kill... well, we could play this and then play the Rune Reckoner, so sure, that'll be... That'll be solid. We probably won't have time. Yep.
You know what? I'm just gonna take the hit. Never lost a fair game. I'm a people person. Alright, so there goes pretty much their whole board. Now, I know we have a decent amount of sustain because of our uh, one power here. That's why I was fine with taking the hit, because I know we're going to mostly be able to sustain back up. We're close to being able to rally, but I don't think we're going to be able to get there. So this is a time where, because of that nerf, we're not able to end the game. little unfortunate, but very close. Alright, so we could attack, but we can also just do this. GG. Alright, buffing up our Daring Demolisher. Pretty good. Let's see what we can get for powers here. Oh, that'll be decent. Yeah, we summon a decent amount of 5 plus power. Nice. I don't really like this. I mean, I guess since we have the money, I'll buy one copy just to get the item. Let's use a reroll here. Again, buy one just for the item. Don't think I really care about anything else. Nah. Alright, Dawn Speakers. All right, let's get rid of the Flight. And I think even the Elegant Edge. We want to get our Champion. Alright, no Samira. Unfortunate. I think we'd play Twisted Fate though. Pop their spell shields. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. Be strong. These are dark times. Then let's do this, try to get our Samira and kill one of their Dawn Speakers. Do not forget. I think we'll play the elegant edge here. Alright, pretty decent start. Did not fall in vain. They'll probably be able to get Challenger, and then potentially challenge and kill Samira. I think let's maybe play this a little bit slower. Our ancestors are watching. I serve a noble cause. Alright, Dawn Speaker down. And let's block like this. Well, sure, let's go like that. A lot of that damage not carrying through since we don't have our overwhelm for everyone. Alright, we can finally play Samira. Yep, I think we'll deal the 6 damage because essentially that 6 damage is going to make our overwhelm do more damage. The more spells we play, the more we heal up. Honestly, we don't really need to worry about rallying this round, since our attack should be able to end the game regardless. Alright. We can attack, and this should be GG.
and we're playing just a couple extra spells just to heal up our Nexus a little bit more. Yep, GG. Alright, I guess getting some more copies of Pool Shark, not too bad. We could go for a heal here, but I think we'll actually just cut a card. I think we'll get rid of Dashing Dandy. It's kind of our weakest of this cost range units. Alright, so Galio with Shivana as the sub boss. Pretty good hand. These will both trigger that uh, Trifarian for us. We don't have the attack token, so not the best. I serve my people with pride. Hmm. Not wonderful for us. We're going to hold off on playing Samira because they have all these challenger units and don't want Samira to die. So yeah, we're just going to not initially play her. Don't ask for permission or forgiveness. I think let's play our Twisted Fate. Heal me in. Something for all. All right, we'll pass for now. Four zero-cost cards. We should be able to level up fairly easily. Play this, deal a massive amount of damage to her. I am more than I see. You are unlike anything I've ever seen. Well, that is annoying. Could kill her. I think we'll play this because he's gonna hit two people, so that should be best here. Of course. Right, we're actually going to give her Challenger. So let's attack like this. They will probably block and then we'll use something to kill her. Probably the all out. Yeah, I don't want to risk them hitting Twisted Fate though. Yep, so there's that. Want to prove yourself? Now's your chance. And let's even level her up just so we get a little bit more damage. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Try to keep up. Alright, we probably won't have enough damage to end the game. We'll see, though. Looks like trouble. Yeah, not quite. Well, we do have six more damage, but yeah, we'll just finish them off next round. Alright, so there was a S run for the Colossus, or Galio, was fairly easy. Now that change is definitely noticeable, there are going to be situations where you're just 
not able to level her up or just not able to play one of your flares because it just costs too much. It is really sad. She does definitely feel weaker. You had a lot more options with her before, and it was very fun generating all of these free cards in many situations. You'll still have sometimes we can play it for free, like you saw in this run, but it definitely is much less frequent. This did take away a good amount of her power, but she's still so powerful that if you know what you're doing when you play her, you'll still be fine. She is probably still an A-tier champion. I don't think she's fallen a tier like I would say Pike has. It's still sad that our champions are getting nerf because of pvp but if you were worried that samira was now going to be like a dead champion or not worth getting that's definitely not the case she's still very strong although bear in mind i am playing a maxed out samira so you'll likely struggle a little bit more if you're just leveling her up that's it for the video though i hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely like and subscribe i hope you all have a great day